Are you a creator or are you a consumer? Well, there's one way to find out. <laughs> Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome, mad creators, to the underground laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And uh, you've, if you've watch, watched any of these videos before, you've heard me say that. And I always say, you know, we create these things. We're mad creators. We create robots and all this stuff. Uh, but how much are we really creating? And that's something that I decided to sort of ask myself and sort of, of a challenge that I want to put out to you guys. Um, yeah, when I in the beginning of the video, I asked, are you a creator or a consumer? Now, obviously, most of us here who are watching this, we would like to consider ourselves creators, but most people are also consumers. And I don't mean like going to the grocery store, that type of... I'm talking consumers as far as how it relates to uh, con like entertainment content. That basically, the kind of stuff that we put out. I mean, we'll put out like comics or entertainment, that type of thing. So it's, it's sort of in our best nature and it behooves us to also take part in that kind of stuff. Whether it's watching movies or reading comics or, or any of the other, you know, playing games, any of the, the cool stuff that we like to create. Um, but I think it's important for us to create more than we consume. Um, and I've always fancied myself as somebody who was you know, had a pretty good work ethic, was, is uh, rather productive. So I, but I wanted to, I wanted to test that out. I wanted to find out, am I really as productive as I think I am? And so what I decided to do was do a time audit. So basically I took a week, well actually a little more than a week because the week that I decided to do this was the week before Labor Day here in the States. If you live somewhere else, maybe you probably, maybe don't have Labor Day, but just it's a holiday, I guess, just to, uh, you know, it's a funny thing. I don't know exactly. I don't know if it's to celebrate workers or just be, to give you a break on the day, a day off because you work so hard. Maybe, I don't know. I should look into that. That's something I should know about. But anyway, it's Labor Day. Um, um, so the week before that, I decided just to take that week plus just tack on Labor Day. So um, that is sort of a three-day weekend. So just the, just, it's basically eight days that I decided to chronicle uh, my process. Progress. What am I spending my time on? And I kind of broke it down in a few different ways and I'll go over that in a minute. But I want to kind of put a challenge out to you guys to maybe do the same. Um, and before you do that, ask yourself, you know, what do you think you do? Are you, think, are you constantly watching TV, doing video games and not getting a lot of work done? Um, then you may already know going into it, but it's important to do this because, and there's a lot of people that also say, well, I just don't have the time, you know, there's just not enough time for me to, to create art or, or whatever. Um, and I think even if, even if you're doing, uh, producing a lot of artwork, I think once you do this, I think you're going to find there's a lot more time. Now, obviously there, there's things that you need to concentrate on too. If you've got a family and things like that, you need to spend time with your family. You need to do all that, that stuff too. That all that is very important. You need to get sleep. Uh, a lot of us have, have day jobs that we got to go to and that kind of obligation. And there, there's things like that, that, that we can't really, you know, pull from, but there's a lot, I'm noticing that there's a lot of extra time that I could be spending. So, like I said, I, I went ahead and, uh, I, wrote down from the moment I woke up to pretty much the moment I went to bed every every everything that I was doing and um, I want to go kind of through this with you and just to kind of maybe give you an idea as far as the day sort of a day in my life of what I'm doing because um, I know there are a lot of people that that you know have asked me like oh how do you how do you get so much stuff done or whatever um, so this will kind of give you an idea and maybe it's something to shoot for for you maybe you're like yeah that's I can top that I can do I can do better than that or, or whatever <laughs> it's fine but I just thought I would go through this because I think it's gonna line up hopefully it's gonna line up with a lot of what you guys are going through as well so you might see some similarities there or some things to work on and unfortunately this isn't gonna be another uh, I think last time we did a video it wasn't a drawing video this one isn't 
listen either. This is just going to kind of be me going over it. But I think this is sort of important, and I think it's something uh, that we can learn from. And one of the things that kind of sparked this off is a challenge that a few of my friends are doing. It's, it was started off by Joshua Kimball and Corey Kerr, uh, two friends of mine. You've probably seen them on the ArtCast. You've definitely seen Josh in the ArtCast if you've seen any of the recent ArtCast because he's been the host with me for I don't know how many episodes now. But anyway, so they decided to get together, and every 48 hours they check in with, with each other and kind of go over what they did. Now, I don't know that they they go so extensively as this, and this isn't something that I'm probably going to keep up all the time, um, but it was very enlightening and everything. So I, I said to myself, you know, I, I should do something similar uh, and kind of find out, am I being that productive? So anyway, so this is the results. I printed everything out. I've kind of color coded the co color coded things and I just kind of want to go over this with you um, and then we'll see kind of where we are with all this stuff okay so I'm gonna attempt to go through this time audit I'll try to go as quickly as possible um, but what I want to show you here is so I, I broke everything down by the days and if you can see these little things are color coordinated so there's a little mark there's a blue there's a green there's a pink and a yellow highlighter so the green is going to be anything where I was productive on my own sort of personal projects all right the yellow is basically just working at a day job right now it's an art day job so I am being productive in ways because I'm, the more you draw, and that's what I do all day at the day job is draw, is illustrate. So I'm learning and things like that, um, but it's still, I'm, I'm putting that separate from, you know, my own personal art projects and things like that. Uh, let's see, what is blue? So blue is anything else that, uh, it's neither it's kind of it's kind of neutral it's neither um anti-productive or productive and when i say anti-productive we'll get into that but that's not necessarily you know probably the best terminology but anyway so it's things like you know family time or like commuting or all or running errands or just things you 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 do you know that just part of the day that's that that you need to do but doesn't you know it's not it's not necessarily something that's taking you away from either you know investing time or wasting time or however you look at that all right so the pink uh anything in pink is just it's it's basically again that's sort of the consuming thing that we're talking about whether it's just watching a movie or you're playing a game or you're on YouTube or whatever now again a lot what I want to say is that when I am at the day job or when I'm working on my own personal projects I usually do have YouTube on so I I do consume a ton of, of um, YouTube or YouTube content but because it's kind of multitasking and I'm producing while I'm doing that I'm considering that and it's it's not usually watching is just kind of listening to it so it's to me it's the same thing as if you're listening to music or something while you're working so I don't really count that so anyway, that's how I broke everything down so we're gonna start off with Monday so from 6 to or 6 10 I usually get up around 6 and then uh, you know sometimes it takes me about 10 minutes to get up get ready and everything so anyway so from 6 10 and to 6 40 uh, I went jogging now Something to, to mention that I split my time sometimes between uh, my own home and uh, my girlfriend's house. So this time was at my girlfriend's and that, that does factor into it because of the commute to work is less when I'm over there. Um, I don't know if, I'm, if I need to explain all this stuff, if it's even important. But if just if anyone's curious why sometimes it takes me 50 minutes to get to work versus 15 minutes, um, that's part of it, all right? So anyway, so from 610 to 640, jogging, that's under blue, that's just, that to me that's something that, you know, that I just, I don't consider that like wasting time and I don't consider that as necessarily productive. So um, 640 to, six, to seven, o'clock uh, getting ready so the shower all that kind of stuff uh, that again is under blue uh, 7 to 720 uh, I was uploading uh, not uploading but just uh, you know setting up a YouTube YouTube video I usually go live with a YouTube video every typically every Monday if not Tuesday um, so just you know creating just finalizing all that pushing that out there sharing it on Facebook um, so that's green because that's productive that's part of my personal projects I consider YouTube and all this stuff part of my personal um, 
endeavors uh, as far as creatively. All right, so from uh, 7.20 to 7.30, breakfast, that's under blue. That's just something you gotta eat. That's just a natural thing, all right? Um, so let's see, where are we at, where are we at, where are we at? Uh, where was I, I got lost. Okay, so from 7.30 to, to 8 o'clock, I worked on a side project. Um, and uh, that was part of, again, my personal personal work that I'm doing. Um, so I try, if I have time before I have to leave to work or whatever, I try to work on stuff, whether it's sketching or working on a project. Uh, okay, where are we at now? So from, from 8 to 8.30 is a commute. Uh, I must have maybe stopped and done errands or something or picked something up along the way because it's from there, it's usually only about 15 minutes commute. So, okay, so the day job. So from 8.30 to 12, I was working and then I took a break for lunch. So while I ate my lunch, let's see, so it's 12 to 12.30, I guess I ran some errands and ate lunch. From 12.30 to one o'clock, I was grayscaling my comic book, Young and the Dead, so usually while I'm at work, I'm trying to still do the 100 days of making comics, uh, the, 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 the challenge part of it where you spend 30 minutes a day, so I try to do that on a lunch hour, so I was working on my comic, uh, then back to work from, from one o'clock to five o'clock, and then from 5 to 40, commute uh, back to my house. And then from, and of course that's blue. <laughs> uh, and the next one is 5.40 to 6.15, Etsy order. I had to fulfill some Etsy orders. Um, that is green because that's part of my personal thing. Um, 6.15 to 6.37, paying bills. Uh, that's blue because that's just something normal that you that I would do. I don't consider that as part of being productive. I'll, it's just a necessary, necess, just a necessity, I guess. Something you have to do. Uh, where are, so from 6:37 to 8:12, I worked on a freelance project. I don't do a lot of those. Um, I like to do my own stuff, but there is a couple that I that I have take on for various reasons. Uh, so that's green. Uh, blue under blue, it's eight. 12 to 9 20 dinner you got to eat uh then back to another productive thing that's a green that's 9 20 to 10 30 i i edited a video and from 10 30 to 10 51 uh i packed my lunch i packed lunch for you know the the previous day and everything and sometimes like i said if i'm going to my girlfriend's house then i pack two lunches because i'm i i got to bring two lunches to work uh, 10, 10, 50 to 11, oh, one folded clothes. So again, chores and things that's under blue. And, uh, and then I finally treated myself to consuming some content, uh, about 39 minutes worth. So from, uh, from 11 o'clock to 1140, I watched a movie or part of a movie. I think it was Power Rangers, <laughs> which was on Amazon. And I just wanted to see what it was all about. So, and I had watched, usually I don't get to watch a whole movie cause I'll put it on before I go to sleep and I'll fall asleep. So I think I wrapped up that movie and I had probably there were a couple, two or three days before that where I watched about 30 minutes worth. So all in all, uh, for Monday, uh, the productive uh, time that I put into the day, and I'm not counting sleeping or anything like that, but the productive uh, time of the day in green was three hours, 55 minutes. So the, cons the consuming, just, uh, you know, uh, indulging in entertainment and things like that was 39 minutes. Uh, work that's unavoidable that you know that's seven hours and 30 minutes and then just the average stuff that you do uh, daily is uh, four hours and 11 minutes so pretty productive on that day so let's see how Tuesday is now, hopefully this, hopefully this is gonna get too boring I'm, I'm hoping you're getting something out of this because that that took longer than I wanted it to so see if I can speed it up a little bit Tuesday six o'clock to 8 15 I woke up uh, 618 to 650 I went jogging uh, 650 to 820 I took the kids to school commuted to work from 845 to 12 again work then this is the lunch hour so all of that is either work or just normal things you have to do N neither productive or unproductive um, so here we get into some more productive stuff on my lunch hour from 12 to 12 15 uh, I answered YouTube comments and uh, I ate my lunch while I was doing that 12 15 to 1 o'clock I worked on my comic book young and the dead from 1 to 40 back to 1 to sorry 450 back to work uh, 
and then uh, 450 to 515 commute 515 to 545 I must have went over to my girlfriend's on that day because it just says visiting so we just hung out for a little bit and then mostly for the rest of the night it was this was kind of the time to just enjoy myself and take in and be a consumer you know so what we did we went to dinner and a movie that was from 5 to or 5:45 to 9 o'clock uh, from 9:30 to ni or 9 o'clock to 9:30 we took the dog for a walk and then uh, then I was let's see from 9:30 to 10 10 I just checked social media and everything and for that I didn't can I don't when I do when I do like YouTube comments and everything I consider that as part of you know, being you know I consider that progress where if I'm just going through my Instagram feed I don't I consider that and that's a big thing and I didn't even mention that before but uh, social media is a huge time suck and it can be beneficial but you've got to really watch that social media so so for that for me it was like 30 minutes or 40 minutes sorry so I try not to spend too much time on social media I maybe should spend a little more time being productive on social media and interacting more so far the only thing I really am really good at is is YouTube and I'm trying to concentrate concentrate on YouTube but I gotta go get a little better on Instagram and stuff like that and from 10 uh, 10 to 1040 I read comics so again that's just uh, entertaining all right so so not not as productive on Tuesday so an hour of productive stuff four hours and 25 minutes just entertainment movies all that kind of stuff uh, again work seven hour the day job seven hours five minutes and all the other stuff three hours 25 minutes all right so let's move on to Wednesday so Wednesday I woke up at six o'clock from six o'clock to 620 it says wake up 620 to 640 went jogging 640 to 705 get ready uh, and then uh, from 705 to 741 I, I sketched and again that's under green that's productive 741 to 807 breakfast uh, you got to eat so that's under blue 807 to 830 commute and to the post office I guess that could sort of be productive you know that's I can just consider it an errand I was shipping out some Etsy orders which is part of work but sometimes you just kind of got to draw the line I guess um, and when you when you guys decide to do this you can kind of make up sort of make up your own rules and how you allocate different things this is just how I did it all right so from 830 to, to 12 o'clock day job working uh, 12 to 12:15 processing. Does this say processing Etsy orders? I think that I think what I meant by that was that I was well. I guess processing. I was you know sending out, letting people know that it, that the orders were going out and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, and entering shipping the you know the what do you call it the shipping numbers and all that kind of stuff. All right. So from 12 to or 12:15 to 101. Oh, 1215 to 110, Grace Kelly in the comic book, Young and the Dead, so working on the comic book like I do on most of my lunch hours. And then back to work from 10 from 110 to 5 o'clock. Uh, 5 to 6 o'clock, commute and stop at the grocery store. That's in blue because that's just the regular errands and things like that. 6 o'clock to 615. It says have a snack and photograph products. So that's a little bit of both. I was photographing products for uh, for uh, a print slash the new website that I'm working on um, so I put that under blue even though some of that was productive uh, let's see 618 to 645 upload a YouTube video uh, 645 to and that's under green 645 to 751 learning lettering for uh, T what is that or no no I'm sorry I got <laughs> uh, I'm, okay, digital lettering for T. So I was working on a, a T-shirt design for that. Um, uh, 754 to 815, sketching. Uh, it says lab provisions. So basically, what I'm working on is I'm redesigning my website. So a lot of the stuff that you see in my store, I'm trying to create like an old school ad that looks like the old ads we get back comics. So like mail away for x-ray glasses and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I'm working on there. Um, and then, so that's all in green. And then 8.15 to 8.40, dinner. Uh, 8.40 to 10.25, digital art on lab provisions, the same thing, continuing on with that. 
And uh, so most everything's fairly productive that day, except I did at the very last one. This is in pink, which means I'm consuming content, and that is uh, Netflix. And what is it? No, that says Power Rangers. So I don't know what I was watching before. I don't remember. Uh, so maybe I finished watching Power Rangers or something. I forgot what I watched. Anyway, it, that's not important. So anyway, so so on Wednesday, uh, still f that was a pretty productive day. So I spent five hours and 28 minutes uh, being productive on my own personal projects. Again, the unavoidable, the day job, seven hours and 20 minutes. Uh, the consuming part, the part where you're not being as productive, that was 55 minutes, and then all the other daily routine is uh, was in blue, and that's three hours and 32 minutes. All right, let's move on to Thursday. Um, <laughs> all right, Thursday, 6.10 to 7.20. I woke up uh, 7.20 to 7, or 6.20, sorry, this so is 7.06. Uh, jog in the rowing machine. Um, 7.06 to 7.45, shower, breakfast, dishes, water, lawn, all that kind of stuff. And that's all, all that stuff is under just your daily tasks. That's in blue. Uh, 7.44 to 8 o'clock, uh, emailing, uh, so email messages, so answering emails, I put that under as being productive. You can get caught in, be careful with the email because you can get caught in the trap of, of wasting time doing that, constantly checking email. I try to only check it every once in a while. Um, so anyway, but I did put that under productive. And uh, so that was before going to work. So from 8 to 8.45 was my commute. And uh, 8.45 to 12 o'clock noon, that's just working the day job, that's in yellow. Uh, 12 o'clock to 12.20, working on my comic book during my lunch hour. Uh, and uh, let's see, and then from 12 to 1, I made a, I had to, I had lunch and did a, I had to do a Costco run. Because I always go, I always do Costco runs when I'm at work because there's no Costco's in the city where I live. Um, so anyway, uh, and that's under blue because that's just, uh, it's an errand, it's a daily, just part of the routine. Uh, then back to yellow for work, so from 12 to 5 o'clock working, uh, day job. And then, uh, let's see, so from 5 to 7, 10, commute, grocery shopping, putting groceries away, all that stuff. And then uh, that's, again, that's, that's under daily, average, every, you know, day task and things. And then uh, from 7 to 7.50, uh, respond to YouTube comments. That's under green, because that's productive. 7.50 to 8.23, Artcasters. Uh, so I was working on the Artcasters thumbnail and newsletter. Um, and then from 8.23 to 12.15 was the Artcasters, the pre-show, the actual show, and sort of the after show. And plus, while I was on the Artcasters, I was also working on my comic book. So, um, yeah. So, now, I can tell right now, this is going to be a long video. So, if you're, with, if you're still with me, that's awesome. I am going to take a breath, and then I'll get to Friday. All right. Let's get back to it. Okay, so Friday, 6, 6.20 to uh, 6.55, woke up, make dinner in the crock pot. I usually don't make dinner that early, but I was making it in a crock pot, so, so it'll cook all day when I get back. That's always an awesome thing to do, so when you get back, you don't have to make dinner. Anyway, so from 6.55 to 6.20, get ready, eat breakfast, 7.20 to 8.30, take kids to school and commute to work. So that's all, again, in blue, that's just the average Again, just the, the you know daily tasks. Um, then uh, from uh, eight thirty to twelve o'clock, working at the day job. From twelve to twelve fifteen, uh, answering YouTube comments. And from twelve and I'm sure I ate my and it says lunch and YouTube comments, so I ate lunch while I was doing that. And from twelve fifteen to one o'clock, working on Young and the Dead. Uh, from back to that, that, those are both in green because that's productive. Then uh, from 12 to 2.30, so uh, we got to go early, so I only had to work till 2.30 on that day, so that, that's pretty awesome. And then go home, and then the rest of it is that three-day weekend. So let's see how much we can do in the, the three-day weekend here. But All right, so from 12.30 to 4.06, commute uh, and running errands. That's in blue, average everyday stuff. 
Uh, then uh, we're uh, this is green because we're being productive uh, from 406 to 509 lab provisions and digital art that same thing I'm working on I'm getting I'm excited to show you guys when this new website launches uh, it should be should be pretty cool all right so uh, and then uh, from 509 to 6 o'clock uh, I went to the comic book store and uh, picked up my kids and then uh, 6 o'clock to 7.25, uh, dinner and dishes. Those are in blue. Those are just the average everyday thing. And then uh, my girlfriend came over. Um, and uh, so this sort of entertainment time from 7.25 to 9.30, we watched a movie. Uh, it was Battle of the Sexes. And um, from uh, 9.30 to 10.12, we walked the dog. That's in blue. The previous one, just watching the movie. Again, that's pink because that's consuming content but it's good you got to but you got to do the family stuff too i mean it's i mean you should want to do the family stuff um all right so for, and then uh then from 10 10 12 to 10 42 uh i read comics before i went to bed that was uh west coast avengers uh number one that i read which i kind of did a little review on one of my other uh, videos um i don't know if i did a review because i don't know if i did i read it at that time or did they just say that i got it i don't know anyway <laughs> it wasn't a review. So, okay, so Friday, uh, let's see how I did. Um, it was pretty, that one was fairly even. Um, so about two hours and three minutes being productive, uh, working on my own personal projects and things like that. Two hours and 35 minutes was consuming content, watching videos, all that, watching movies and stuff. Uh, five hours at the day job that day, it was a short day. And uh, just all the other, other daily tasks were three hours and 44 minutes, all right? All right, so let's get into Saturday. Saturday, okay, so from six, and I usually don't sleep bad on Saturday. I try to get up at the same time I usually do because it, you know, it seems like everyone in the house, other in the house, is sleeping. So that gives me time to work on stuff. So I like to wake up and, and get working on stuff. So from six twelve to uh, six twenty nine, I woke up from uh, six twenty nine to t to seven ten when jogging. Uh, those are both in blue, just daily tasks. Uh, from 7.10 to 8.20, I worked on the same, those lab provision artwork for the website and everything. Um, and that's in green. From 8.20 to 9.25, I did lawn work and all that stuff, yard work. From 9.25 to 10.05, breakfast. From 10.05 to 10.10, we went errands, we did errands, went to Goodwill and Walmart and, and Home Depot and all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see, and from, let's see, 10, uh, or 1020 to 1230, house cleaning, from 1230 to 1250, or 1255 lunch, 1255 to 2 20 house cleaning so a lot of house cleaning is stuff just the boring stuff that you you know that again this is stuff you just have to you just have to do it's kind of unavoidable hopefully you can you but you can speed things up and if, if you're if you're finding that it's taking you a lot of time to do house cleaning maybe there's ways to, to up your progress and stuff like that but that's the reason why we're doing this to kind of try to figure all that stuff out but anyway so pretty much everything so far on Saturday other than working uh, for an hour and ten minutes on my my art project while everyone was sleeping was uh, just daily, the daily everyday grind, things like house cleaning and all that kind of stuff. All right, so, but now we're getting into more productive stuff. So from 1220 to 345, uh, working again on the, the digital the digital artwork that I've been working on. Uh, from 345 to 415, checking email, answering YouTube comments. From 4.15 to 4.45, uh, make props for YouTube videos. Oh, okay, so, yeah, so, yeah, when I do videos, sometimes I have to make little, get stuff ready for each one of those videos, um, whether it's creating mini, you know, mini things that come through the mail or all that kind of stuff. All right, so just kind of breaking the fourth wall there for a second. Uh, all right, so let's see. Uh, so where are we? Where are we? Okay, so from 4.45 to 5.30, recording YouTube videos. So whatever the video you probably watched last week, I was recording that. Um, so that is all productive. Now we're getting into uh, 
the average everyday stuff in blue, uh, make dinner, eat dinner, do dishes, all that kind of stuff. Um, then uh, it says, uh, so sep from 7.15 to 8.45, that was uh, kind of a family type thing that we did. I did with my daughter. We were working on some, some things for, uh, for a party coming up, uh, just doing like designing party favors and kind of doing like a craft thing together. All right, so from four, or I'm sorry, so yeah, that's average everyday stuff. Then kind of back to being productive from 8.41 to 9.44, uh, edit YouTube videos, design thumbnail, and then uh, on Saturday from 9.44 to 11.40, to 11.30, I was on a, a hangout with Kevin Cross on his Patreon, he did a Patreon hung, hangout. Um, so, and while I was doing that, I was working on my comic book, um, and that was pretty awesome. And it's different from the art casters, because when you're not having to host, you get a lot more done on your comics, because when you're talking, it's hard to draw and do all that stuff at the same time. So, I was pretty productive during that, so that was pretty cool, and I even worked on a little bit after that. All right, and then uh, before bed from, a so that's, I consider that all productive, but then, you know, again, you know, back to consuming entertainment and everything. So from 11.30 to 12 o'clock, I read some comics, all right? Okay, so let's see. So Saturday uh, was, um, oh, was pretty productive. So yeah, eight hours and 37 minutes I spent working on my own personal stuff. That's pretty awesome. Only 30, 30 minutes consuming stuff and then, uh, you know, content and all that stuff and then uh but uh, and then just all the other stuff you got to get done in the weekend cleaning and all that kind of stuff that added up to about 11 hours and 17 minutes so um so that was saturday so sunday sunday was pretty much uh, just a family day all right so and um i would maybe try to get a little more productivity done in on a sunday in between the family time if i didn't already have that extra day coming up on the monday because it was a holiday so i just decided you know holiday i'm going to pretty much take most of the most of the day and just spend it with family so we did we did a little road trip so anyway so from uh, 6 10 to 6 50 woke up got ready um, from 6.50 to 8.15, prep food for a party. We went, we went, drove down to Tucson to meet, uh, to visit some of my girlfriend's family and everything and brought the kids with us and went swimming, all that good stuff. So anyway, so that was that. And then from, from 8.15 to uh, 11.25, that was traveling, driving down to Tucson. Um, from 11.25 to 5.10, visiting with family. Um, from 8.10 to um, 8.25, uh, traveling back home and dinner, and then uh, some a little bit of productive stuff, uh, answering emails, YouTube comments, uh, learning how to use uh, an Adobe product for making fonts, or no, I, I think it was installing, it was something, I think it was installing it, or, oh, I know what it was. I There was some issue with, uh, with the license. I had to move a license from an old computer to a new computer because the old computer I wasn't using anymore. It said my license were up, and then I had to reinstall some of my plugins and things like that. So that's what that's all about. So anyway, but I consider that being productive because that's all stuff I need for work. Uh, and then from uh, then, uh, I just sat back and relaxed and, and, and took in some, some entertainment. So from 9.50 to 10.45, I watched a documentary on He-Man on Netflix, and I, I didn't go back to it. It was all right, but I got—I guess I got to finish that up. So anyway, so that was Sunday, mostly a family day. So um, again, there was only like an hour and 35 minutes where I was working on my own personal projects, being productive and everything. Um, let's see, uh, 14 hours, uh, just family time, all that stuff. And then, uh, what was it? Uh, and 55 minutes just consuming entertainment. All right, so Monday, the final day, that uh, the uh, Labor Day, Monday. So Monday, woke up at 6.10, uh, 6.10 to 6.25, getting up, 6.25 to 7.07, uh, jog and going and doing the rowing machine, 7 o'clock to 7, wait, no, 7, 7.07 to 7.38, getting ready. Um, that's all under blue. That's just the average everyday stuff you're doing. So from 7.38 to 7.57, um, that's being productive, uploading YouTube, uh, YouTube video, checking email. And then in blue for average everyday stuff, 7.57 to 9.11, ran to Walmart for, 
it says for flip flops, eggs, and and also ate breakfast. <laughs> so yeah, I left I left my flip flops over at uh, over at you know, in Tucson, so I had to go buy a new pair. Um, because this is Arizona, and sometimes you don't want to put shoes on when it's 115 out. Anyway, all right, so uh, seven, uh, seven, 11 to uh, 1001, uh, new website, research, and layout. So this is just me uh, kind of figuring out how I want to lay out my new website and everything like that. So that's being productive. Uh, 1001 to 1149, uh, working on a, a, a tutorial for a plugin that's going to kind of, uh, there's some actions and things that are going to make my artwork look like those old, like I said, those old vintage comic book style ads. So I kind of had to go through that tutorial. So that's being productive because I'm learning things that I can apply to my own personal projects. Um, Let's see, uh, okay, where are we? Okay, so from 11.39 to 12.37, uh, website design, so working on the website. Uh, then I took a break for lunch, uh, 12.36 to 1.15, and then back to uh, being productive, uh, 1.15 to, to 4 o'clock, website design again. Uh, so, and that was, that pretty much kind of concluded my work day, and then I just, uh, then I, I went to my girlfriend's house, so I start, had to do that. Again, I had to pack and, and make lunch and all that stuff. So from 4 o'clock to 4.35, I did all the packing and stuff. Um, from 4.36 to 5.31, I dropped the kids off and drove to my girlfriend's house. From uh, 5.31 to 5.56, um, after I got there, I, on my phone, I answered YouTube comments. So I always, I consider that being productive, you know. It's, it's really good to um, communicate with your audience and keep them and keep in touch with them and everything. All right, so that was productive. Um, then after that, you know, it's it's from 7:19 to 7:40 dinner, 7:40 to 8:05. Took the dog for a walk from 8:05 to 9 9:35. Uh, uh, just kind of hanging out, chilling with my girlfriend from uh, from. So all that's just. That, that's all in blue. And then from 9.35 to 10.45, uh, it says ch oh, so check social media, read comics and stuff. So again, consuming content. And uh, where are we then from seven? Okay, no, so that, that kind of concluded that day. So uh, let's see, so where are we? <laughs> We're in the home stretch now. I'm glad you guys are bearing with me. Anyway, so uh, from, so anyway, so being, I was pretty productive that day. So seven hours and 37 minutes was in green. So that's being productive, working on my own personal project. And uh, just uh, one hour and 10 minutes was me consuming content. Uh, and then five hours and, and two minutes was your everyday average stuff. Now let's look at the whole thing. Uh, let's, uh, I tallied up all the hours and everything and we'll see where I am with that. So I think I, I think I was, I think I was pretty productive this week. And again, we keep in mind, um, this is an eight day week. So it's not gonna, it, you know, sh you can shave a day off. Like, I, I mean, I could take, I could take, you know, the average of that or if I wanted to, but, um, but when you do this, if you're going to do this, uh, you know, do it however you want, um, but just, uh, you take into consideration that this is for eight eight days. It's a it's a it's a three day weekend and everything. So anyway, so between for those eight days, so th for total being productive hours, that is the stuff that's in the green. Uh, that is thirty four hours and fifty three minutes. So not not too bad. Um, it's act what's what's really cool is that I spend as much time working on my own personal projects as I did at my day job. So the day job was 34 hours and 40 minutes total. So that's awesome. Um, and then as far as just being a consumer, indulging in entertainment and things like that, that was 11 hours and nine minutes. Um, so again, we, we, it's important for us to, to get some of this stuff in, some of this entertainment and everything like that. But there are so what I'm saying is there is time in there if you need to shave like even an hour off of that. I spent 11 hours watching movies or reading or going on uh, social media or all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, if we need to, we can sh shed some time off of that. Uh, and then uh, the bulk, the bo the overwhelming majority of the time. And again, we're not. I'm not taking into consideration the time that I'm sleeping. But uh, so 50 hours and 20 minutes is everything else. Now, 
there's time in there if we need to. There's some time in there that if we have to pull aside to work on stuff. Again, some of that stuff's family time. You gotta you that's that's very important, all right? You don't wanna just that's all you do is work or especially don't all you do is sit in there and play video games and all that kind of stuff. So um, also there's things that are pretty much unavoidable like they're the commute to work, which I don't know if you want to do this, you could include that as part of your job. Like part of the time you're at work is that commute because sort of goes hand in hand, hand in hand. I, I did that separately. Um, you know, eating, oh, you got to, you got to eat and everything. And, and sometimes it's nice to take some time and to like go out for a good meal or something like that. Um, so, so there's all that stuff, but there's a lot of time there. I mean, again, some of it's chores and cleaning. I, you know, but you don't want to live like in a disaster every, you know, when you, you want to keep all that stuff up. And, uh, you know, for the most part, it's it's just me. You know, I'm you know I've got kids and everything, um, but I you know so if it comes to cleaning, if it's at my house, I've got to clean my house. I mean, I do have a girlfriend and everything, but everything is split. You know, equally among you know she does her thing, cleans her house, I clean my house, all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty pretty much separate. So. So all that kind of stuff, you know, um, I, that stuff I got to take care of. So you may have a different situation. Maybe you have a partner that's that's uh, handling some of that stuff and can can you know, and that can be helpful because it leaves you more time to work on your own stuff. Or you know, maybe you're single. You don't have to, you know. Sometimes you can just shut yourself in, and that's all you want to do is work, and you can get a lot of stuff done that way. Again, that's kind of a solitary life. Um, you might not want to do that, but the, there's the point is there. Everyone's got their own different scenarios. So you, uh, if you do this, kind of figure out how it works for for your you personally. Um, but I I, th I do think it's really important to kind of sit down for a week or more, however you want to do it. But uh, I would say a week is a good good time frame to get an idea of of where all your time is going because um, there are some surprising things in here. I you know. I always consider myself being productive. Um, like, oh, I don't watch that much Netflix and all that kind of stuff. But there's there's some some stuff in there, um, and you may find. I think a lot of people might unfortunately find that they're spending a lot more time working on all of that stuff. Stuff that um, you know, and that's fine. I mean, if that's if if you if that's what you enjoy doing, it's okay. But you can't really complain about not producing any artwork if that's what you're doing. If if you're playing video games for eight hours straight or something like that, and you're not getting any artwork done, I don't know what to tell you other than you know <laughs> maybe don't play so many video games. But anyway, so I think I you know again I want to offer this as a challenge to you guys if if you. If you think you know kind of what your daily routine is, your weekly routine is, and how productive you are, you may be surprised once you start actually logging all this stuff in. And uh, so moving forward, I don't know. I, I don't know that I would, if I continued to do this, um, I don't think I'm going to log every single thing I, I do. What I, I would I would get, I would I would recommend that you do it like this to begin with. Everything, whether it's even if it's running errands and things like that for for the first week. But I think it's beneficial that after that, maybe just write. You don't have to write in how long you were at your day job and all that stuff. But just the two things, the pink and the green, and you can. Of course, you can do whatever colors you want. If you want to do it colors or however you want to do it shapes, or it doesn't really matter. Um, but for me, green is being productive, working on my own personal projects, and the pink highlighter is just entertainment, having fun, you know, playing games, or whatever. I don't play a lot of games, but I know a lot of you guys do. Uh, but just watching movies and, and stuff like that. Um, so maybe just those two moving forward after the week, just to kind of making sure that you are uh, creating more than you're consuming, because that's that's really important. I think that's an important question to ask yourself: Are are you creating more than you're consuming? And you know, it, it, and you should be. I think I think you definitely should be. Um, whether how much more you're doing, that's kind of up to you as far as how productive you want to be. But for me, I want to create a way more than I want to consume, and that's just that's just me. But um, and I think you know I. I there were, like I said, there were some surprises in here. More, more that you know, more of the things like I can, I can see if I needed to. There's more time in there that I can kind of find, and I think that's going to be the case with everyone. But for the most part, I think I, you know, I think I've been pretty good as far as being productive. So, 
So, and, and the reason why I'm so productive is because I do exercises like this and I have trained myself to do all this stuff. And that's kind of what I'm here uh, to kind of help you guys out with because I think a lot of you guys want to know, how do I, how do I get a comic book done? How do I do this? How do, how do I be more productive? How do I you know, deal with like art blocks and all that kind of stuff? And so that's kind of what I talk about. I know this video was way, way longer than most of the videos I do. So, um, and I always ask you to kind of give feedback in the comment section, but especially on this one because I I'm hoping this is helpful but I don't know if it was just it was just me going on about my schedule and it was just you know unfortunately if it was boring for you you've already tuned out so you're not gonna be, you're not even gonna hear this message so that's probably not a good indicator but um, but I don't know I don't know if I'll do a whole lot more of these super long videos um, uh, but um, but hopefully it was informative if if you did kind of bear with bear through it with me to the end just out of morbid curiosity and you really didn't benefit from it just let me know that too just so I know what kind of stuff to put out here on the channel hopefully it was beneficial and uh, even though it was a long one but anyway because of that I don't want to ramble on too much more um, again I just want to challenge you guys all to uh, kind of do a time audit and see how that works for you and if you've done it before or if you do it in the future let me know in the comment sections and I will see you guys later that is all Hey everyone, thanks for joining me here in the Art Lab. There's a lot of other great content on the channel, so click that subscribe button and you won't miss a thing. If you're an aspiring evil genius, visit surfworks.com for all your mad science supply needs. And if you want to contact me, hit me up in the comment section or follow me on social media. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you then.